this response? Well, I know he cares more than anybody could ever imagine. He is a very poised gentleman. There's no doubt about that. Young know, man, he uh, um, he was obviously very, very upset, and I, I don't blame him. And you know, it's like we talked about after the game. He and I visited for a few minutes, and um, man, the truth is the truth. You can talk, say whatever you want, but there's there's seven or eight more plays in that game that if if, uh, if we get the things done that we need to get done, then, then it doesn't even come down to that play, right? But uh, I know that he feels responsible because it was the one he was involved in. Uh, but, you know, he's a guy that uh, just watching him come back and bounce back yesterday, uh, he's more driven than ever, more focused and ready to go. Um, you know, I, I felt obviously terrible for him, but, I, you know, I feel terrible for our fans. I feel terrible for our team. Um you know, to be able to get there and, and beat beat them in Manhattan for the first time since, I think, maybe 89 since Coach got there in Manhattan. Uh, I think I'm correct on that. And then 10 years, that governor, governor's coach has been away from this place. And um, we expected to win the game. We expected to get the governor's cup. And when we didn't get it, there was a lot of tears. I mean, I shed a few, and so did the rest of them. And, um, you know, it, we there's nobody we feel worse for than our fans because uh, we felt like we – we prepared well enough to go get it, but we didn't get it done. You, you referenced this yesterday, but you probably got a couple good looks at the holding calls. I guess what did you think about those? You know, I, I'll, I will say this. Um, I, I've said this a bunch before. Our game is, is in danger when it comes to the people who officiate it. We don't have enough. We, we don't have enough. And uh, those guys, uh, man, it's hard for them to win on a on a week to week basis. Uh, you know, the, they're they're humans, and I think that's what makes this game great. Sometimes there can be good calls, and sometimes maybe guys make mistakes. But uh, when it comes down to the job that they do, uh, I'm thankful that we have them all out there because uh, without them, you know, it's very difficult to operate what we do. Um, I, I obviously I speak week to week with uh, Greg Burks, who's the head of Big 12 officials, and um, I mean I couldn't feel better about the direction that they're heading with his leadership. He he's phenomenal. Uh, he gives us great constructive criticism uh, or an, an education each week on kind of what we saw and what we thought we didn't see and the things that we need to teach. So um, you know, like I said, those those plays uh, that you're talking about, there was a lot more in that game that really uh, we could have we could have secured it, and it wouldn't have had to come down to that. But but it didn't happen. Hey David, your passion for especially the players seems pretty evident. It seems like you do care a lot about it. Just for the players who are kind of going to be sticking around, do you have any qualities you would want to see in, in maybe the coach that does follow you? Uh, man, that's not for me to say at all. Um, the the uh, the couple things that stick out to me <laughs> is whoever it is, they're going to be damn lucky. This is a great place. Not good, but a great place. Uh, terrific folks that work here, uh, terrific people in our state, great fans that deserve better, uh, and a ton of great kids. Great kids, and uh, you know I think that their leadership is in good hands. So uh, it, whoever gets the job is going to be very lucky, very lucky individual. Have you have you let your mind go there yet? You, it doesn't sound like you know the future is, is affecting your preparation and the day to day of all that, but. Have you let your mind go there about what you are going to miss and, and, and the disappointment? I mean, I, I look at that building out there, right? And something that was a big thing to you the whole time you were here. And it's barely, barely going up now, and, and you won't be in there. I mean, are you letting yourself go there yet or trying not to, or, or how's, that, how's that work? You know, I know it's going to sound cliche, but I, I, I don't – I have not. Mm -hmm. And I park in the back, so I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of helps a little bit. Uh, I really haven't seen it, seen it go up, but uh, – you know, I looked out there the other day, and it, it, uh, it's amazing how fast it's going up now. You know, just to, to see the process of that thing being just kind of a hole in the ground for a long, long time, and now it's just kind of flying up, which is good. But um, like I said, it's going to make this place even better. It's going to give it the opportunity it needs to draw top flight players. Um, and that's really all I care is that, that this place continues to go uh, up because there was a lot of work that was done here. Hopefully some, if not all of it, is appreciated, but – uh, it doesn't matter whether it is or not. It matters what happens with KU moving forward. Yeah, I, I know you're not a selfish guy, but do you feel like maybe that'll be part of your legacy, some of that stuff, when you look back 25 years from now at, at your time here, and, or even five years, whatever it is? I mean, will, will, that, will that mean something to you, obviously, more than maybe the wins and losses? Yeah, it will. I think what will mean the most to us is the men and what they turn out to be. Because 
there, there's some pretty pretty special guys that have overcome and really kind of uh, they faced a lot of adversity. They faced a lot of things that maybe um, might be fair, fairly rare in our game, and for them to to be as resilient as they are, um, I think those are traits that that uh, that great leaders possess and people that do great things they possess that right so i think that's where i'll look back and go hey man i think we made a difference there which is good the uh ou offense has been humming for a few years now but what is kyler's entry well i said it last year i mean um i thought baker mayfield was as good a player as i've ever seen um but to have another one that pops up this year that you're sitting here watching the things that he does and you're like, my word, what a great player. I mean, uh, it's amazing how fast this guy is. And, and I, I I know him really, really well, so I, I know how fast he is. But, man, he is a fast dude. Uh, he can do so many things with his feet. But, man, his release is phenomenal. I mean, the way he gets that ball out, how accurate he is with it, how strong he is. Uh, man, he is just a rare athlete. He is a rare athlete, but, you know, they've got other dudes over there, the Brown kid. Uh, man, that guy could play anywhere, anytime. I mean, he is just a stud. He's going to be a great player. He reminds me a lot of the Tyree Kill kid. Um, so explosive. Uh, uh, what, what's the kid's name? Sermon. Sermon. I mean, that, they have a long list of backs. Um, I've said it many, many times. I think one of the most underrated coaches in college football is Kale Gundy. He just stalks backs. I mean, like you wouldn't believe. And for him to be able to continue to get those guys year in and year out. Uh, Trey Sermon's a good player, man. Uh, really good player. C.D. Lamb is playing his rear end off. I mean, uh, C.D.'s got nine touchdowns. Lee Morris, who nobody really talks about, but this guy, all he does is just make big plays. I mean, you watch him in that Oklahoma game and you watch him. I mean, this dude just make, makes ball plays. He's hard to tackle. Um, really talented guy. You know, there's, I mean, I'm worried about the, about the dead age back now. This guy's making plays all over the place, right? And uh, I mean, they've got guys, and you know, not the least of which the things that you have to think about is how good they are with what Bill Beatonville does up front. I mean, offensive line wise, I mean, they're talented. They do a good job. They do a really, really good job, and I think that has a lot to do with how successful they are. So, yeah, they're talented there, but you know, I know there's been a lot made about um, for them on 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 defensively. Uh, and that, that really just goes down to the history of Oklahoma and how, how that thing's been built on great defense, and I get that. But I'll tell you this. I'm going to remind you of one thing. They're 9-1, and 9-1. And, one. and, one. and uh, they find a way to get the job done, and they are athletic as all get out over there on that defensive side. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a challenge for us to move football on these guys because they are talented. Uh, it, don't, don't kid yourself. There's a bunch of really good football players over there. Uh, so um, you just see him continue to get better under Ruff. You know, now that Ruff has taken over and you see his philosophy on that, um, I mean, you just see him continue to get better. I think they're a team that could definitely, they could definitely, you know, be a team that could win this league for sure.